Hi, this is Tommy Stevens with K2 Enterprises. Welcome to another in a series of technology tips. Today's tip focuses on using a relatively new feature that has just appeared in Microsoft Word known as Line Focus and how Line Focus can help uh, force our concentration to specific sections of a Word document. Now this feature has just been added to the Office 365 based versions of Microsoft Word and as of the date of this recording, which is late April 2019, uh, it is only available so far at least in version 1904 of Microsoft Office 365. It will of course be rolling out through the normal monthly and semi-monthly distribution channels uh, during the months to come. Note that presently this feature is not available in Word 2019. Again, presently it is only available to Office 365 subscribers and as I said, will be rolling out over the next several months uh, depending upon your update frequency. Now, what's important about Line Focus is it is a tool that helps to minimize the number of distractions that we might have as we are looking at a document. I don't know about you, but when I'm working inside a Microsoft Word document, uh, whether it's a document that I have written and I'm trying to proofread, or whether it's a document perhaps that someone else has created, as I look at those documents, I am oftentimes, I oftentimes find myself uh, straying over into other areas of the document and perhaps not focusing on the line or lines that I really need to focus on. So this is what Line Focus is here to do. It's helped to minimize the number of distractions that we might have as we are looking at a Word document. To illustrate how to take advantage of Line Focus, you will notice, of course, that I have opened a Word document. This gets into Microsoft Excel's Power Query feature, uh, which we'll, we'll, we won't go into the content there. But, uh, you know, this is a Word document just like every other document. Suppose I need to critically read this document, and by that I'm proofreading for errors, or perhaps it's some type of uh, educational document that I need to read and, and truly comprehend uh, what what the author is trying to tell me. The way that I can access that in the uh, in in this new um, feature with this new feature of, available from uh, Microsoft is to begin first by clicking on the View tab of the ribbon, and from the View tab of the ribbon, I'm going to go to this option that says Learning Tools, which might be a little bit mislabeled, but that's okay. Let's click on Learning Tools. And upon clicking on learning tools, we can see in the upper left-hand corner uh, several different learning tools. The one that we want to focus on today is, of course, Line Focus. When I click Line Focus, I can choose to have this document focused on one line at a time, three lines at a time, or five lines at a time. Let's look at the one-line focus. When I click on one line focus, notice now that the document is highlighting a single line and I will critically read through that single line and then I can click the, the down arrow to read the next line and the down arrow to read the next one or of course navigate by using the up arrows if that's what I need to do. Now, if uh, one line at a time might be a little bit too, um, shall we say, tedious for you, we could certainly change this option over to three lines at a time, and this might be a little bit more uh, practical for, for many users of this feature. And so now I am focused on only those three lines at a time. My eyes will hopefully not wander off into the adjoining areas, and uh, hopefully now as I scroll through this document, critically reading it, I'll have better comprehension of the material. Of course, the purpose behind Line Focus is that it is there to assist you in concentrating on the one or the three or the five lines of text that you have chosen. And as I said, that should help to improve the comprehension of the text that you're currently looking at. Of course, it's going to take a little bit of time for Line Focus to become widely available to all Word users, but for those of us who have access to it now or will be gaining access in the near future, uh, there's no doubt that you'll want to consider using it as you read and proofread uh, content inside various Word documents. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I hope that you found this tip to be helpful, and uh, please check back with us often as we continually update our library of video content. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, once again, thank you.